Say she won the farm, man. Say she won the farm, man. Yeah, man, I thought it's a representative. Me, I said, check me out on the overall setting. This, yeah, you know, it's your boy Jack and straight out of Canada. An overall setting. Pa- Yo, this is the girl Joy Brooks, and I'll be on overall settings podcast. I represent for overall podcast. You know, overall settings podcast. I should be the queen of the president. I know I represent for overall settings. That they block the resident. I will be an overall setting. And the overall settings podcast. Paper, you know it's the overall settings podcast. Overall settings give thanks every day. Overall settings is overall settings podcast. I will be live on overall settings. Overall settings. Pow, 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 pow. We hold. Pow, 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 pow. Not because you're over there and I'm here, I'm with you. My heart, my soul, my love life is burn deep within it. And my heart is with you, and my soul is with you. And the love we have goes on and on, yeah. Coming down in the early morning Just on the Don Gaga with them car early No one in the sign to put a slide on me No summon number one, no one sees the bomb shot at top We have come down with the solar truck Fuck, cause the kids them come watch him now Here it is As the kids them fuck it up Is a damsel star and over a station. Murder all at a station. Overall, we love you in every way. Overall, kill all jump and station every day. And I know why. <laughs> We could have never get me down We just uh, live back a good vibes where we need See them away from my youth, why they pray When we wicked out, them can't live but we out Them could have never get me down And I stay cool as a Babylon breeze Cool in my bed, smoking trees And I stay cool as a Babylon breeze With my sexy lady Long time, them know you no big vice 
a push through Time this jug and add my you to yo Oh, them artists bust a must be polo Like a hurricane every year after pass through With the pretty face down for truck behind you Come check the big vibes, him will sign you Them say my heart and my temperature rising Me stand firm with no compromise. And I stay cool I can push way off the map Take a little break and then we're bouncing back Cause only kings can wear the crown Me know you can't drink the lean attacker Zan it to this but get your raw paper Hybrid in a flip ya yeah. Fly to a new plane, higher dimension Where could I never get you down Then I stay cool as a Babylon Like a Babylon breeze, Jadu and a saga bad. Yo, I sound bad. So drop a bomb there, you drop a bomb. Drop, you know the bomb. Go we'll find a bomb. Drop something. Drop something, you drop something, brother. Drop something. Drop a drop. Drop a drop or something. Yeah, correct about now. We have some little minor technical difficulties, but the man, the legendary. One of the man them will set it. And, and, and trust me, we have something to talk about because I'm going to surprise him tonight, you know. But without further ado, a warm overall settings. Welcome. Yo, come show your face now. You're going to like this music alone. You can't play. It's a warm overall settings. Welcome for the man himself. One half of... The band Americans, Edley, Edley, oh, Cash, audio oh, Cash. Yeah, hear me good. Yeah, man, I hear you loud and clear, brother. Yeah, you man, broadcasting live from the compound, you know. So, all you know, right, all right, all we right. Have the, all we right. have the good, we have the good Verizon fire, son of flow over here, so you see. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, boy, I don't know. When I look up, up, did the man them down a yard, but. Well, big see? them up, big them up, same way we're up to, but you know, sir, yeah, man. we think a Yankee thing from the settings. We never, we never go around. Yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, man. this is said, I think I set up them thing, brother, proper man. Boy, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Father Shine, Father Shine, I'm gonna surprise you tonight in the car. You didn't know who you are looking for, you know. When me I do my little research, I get yeah. and say, Yeah, me, me and you have a lot of similarities. Um, just to give you a formal introduction. To who I am. I'm FICO settings. Um, I'm also professionally known as El FICO. I'm a reggae artist. Uh, and a, a couple years ago, I had the pleasure of working with somebody who you also work with um, when I was doing my research. Um, a gentleman by the name of Jim Beans who has gone off to do great things in this industry. Yo, I always tell people about Jim Beans. Oh, him was <laughs> Jim Beans was like a like a one of the most talented car. Yeah, I'm very hoping get into the story of oh, me know Jim Beans. Right, but right, right. Me right. know said Jim Beans right. is like a. Me up say him up on the side of a mountain somewhere. Just I look back upon the times. Cause me meet Jim bro. Jim Beans upon the ground when right, right. Not, never really I go on him. Just right. move from Pennsylvania right. and him a fight with the business. Right. But me will say move on and do a lot of incredible things. Man, Harris, Harrisburg to be exact. Harrisburg, uh, which is and, and 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 when and 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 upon my getting to know him, mm -hmm. he had just um you know had disembarked with working with Mad Lion and um you know yourself and right. you know, he came to Philly and he was with some people and he was doing some things but they were kind of at a moderate level and at right. that particular time I was like at the height of my career as a reggae artist and you know he he um i we 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 embraced you know each other through the music and it just basically reached a point and other thing where january brother 
is a youth where him deserve all of the alkalates where where yeah. my get the Britney Spears and the and the Ray and the table like as incredible I said, producer in, right, in, right. incredible yeah, I wanted the wickedest producer as I ever seen in my life yeah, yeah, I'm gonna work with a whole heap of big producer but yeah. you see the see Jim Beans I want yeah. a God pick me them that's why when me meet him I always treat him like yo this is somebody God put in your life for show yeah. you certain things yeah. so don't forsake him and don't give him no bad treatment because you right. never know who who he's going to become and see the same right. way so exactly. well well I just want to um apologize this is Mickey settings um Blessings one of the co-founders co of um overall settings um we're a relatively new platform so we're still working on some of the kings like brother Trust me, we are novice at this. Um, at the first, them technical difficulties ever even happened to me. So, me just want to apologize for the tardiness. No you problem. Know, you know what I mean? But um, it's a pleasure and an honor to mm -hmm. have you know such an iconic fi figure on our platform. Um, you know, and more as a rest in peace to Daddy Rai. You know what I mean? Because I'm setting man. I'm setting. I want to lick my chip hard, cause yeah, man. You Rai, I wanted them on them when me I grow up and I listen stereograph tape when my uncle yeah. them bring up from Jamaica and yeah, just yeah. the ear the style and and watch a man command the microphone in front in front of and this time I dance our setting so yeah, man. You know, the ghettos of Jamaica stand up round sound system and you can't control the crowd that that's that take a special type of spirit. All and right. you are the first to do it. Well on a man tape on microphone Me well, not man. Sing, well, man. Well, I play an instrument DJ well on a man remember the emperor say Cool, cool. You right the rule. You are the father of it. All right, all right, all right. So rest in peace to the general. But what right. I heard about you, you know, me I said we we we've um had you waiting long enough. Um, your fans are here. Um, you know, big up to the the, the yo. Me tell us say yo. You have a PR company where them bad in on you. Them 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 trust me, Flair. Um. Your PR people, them, 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 me, me rate them. And you know, say, me know Flair from high school days. Me know Flair know, a man. long time, even before she start the wow. PR wow. and them thing them. Wow. Me know wow. Flair from, cause you know, say, Washington, D.C. me live all, right. Uh, right. straight through from them time that till now. I right. always represent, I, 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 wanna, I wanna put D.C. on the map. You see? You know, man, I, I, I'm a rate and respect that, man. So, yeah, man. like me say, make with us Get in tweet, you know what I mean? Make we get in tweet. So, Edley right. Shine. Edley Shine, younger life, younger living within the DC area, um, your whole affiliation with, you know, the music, like, at what point did you decide, or did this gift groups drop in your lap, and you say, yo, you know what? At this, me, I go do. Well, but kind of like born in a, the music thing because growing up, me are the first generation of my family. Cause my family migrated from Kingston in the 70s, late 60s, early 70s. My okay. grandmother come up um, from from Kingston and moved come to DC. So once she bring our children up, which is my uncle, my mother, and my auntie, them bring them culture with them. So when me yeah. born now and grew up in other house, me used to see my uncle used to have a little turntable set up. Him have him 45 them on the, on the shelf and 12 inch and all these things. We, we remember seeing the Pete, the, the Pizza Touch poster them and wow, uh, wow, wow. and all that. So I grew up around it. Me, one of my favorite things them for doing as a little youth, them used to have this little box on the sound and it have like three little spring and when you, and when you fling the, the spring, it make a thunder sound. And my, that was my job, my first sound job. So when my uncle them are Bun them chalice and they in the basement and a DJ. Me used to just pluck the string and make the <laughs> make the thunder nice. Are you a job that? Yeah, yeah my job that. So <laughs> just being around, just being around my uncle them and hearing the music. I saw me get indoctrinated in the culture as well as my grandmother with the cooking and my mother and my auntie them with the car. Everybody in my family cooks up. I grew up on steam fish and water crackers and everything. So it's almost like, even though I was born in America, we have a Jamaican raised upbringing. That really was instilled in me as a youth. I hit my grow up as it. But then now, as I get a little bit older and start go outside now, and this is, you know, I'm giving up my age, but this is like the late 70s now. I start seeing the American side of things, the black culture. 
you right. know, right. and, and start. Because we didn't hear about Michael Jackson and Motown and all this, but that never really too prevalent. More time, may I hear Dennis Brown, Bob Marley, all of the reggae artists. I'm frightened as a youth. Some of the mm -hmm. songs them with me grow up loving as a youth. My final said the artist them in the Jamaica was singing. I don't feel them original song. They must right, sing right. over somebody's song yeah, from yeah. the RB world in America. So right, right, all right. of them things them I learn. So me just develop this passion for music. And as me as me start going, I'm a preteen years now, I start looking to artistry and all the music I make. And then my uncle have a sound system, Emperor. I have an uncle named Fred. What, what a Emperor, what a big bad Emperor from Washington. Emperor had the first sound system established in Washington, D.C. If of I'm course. correct, Emperor was established in 1971 by Daddy Lastran and Jawise. Wow, wow. Yeah. wow. So Emperor was the first sound system in a Washington and the wow. oldest sound system in Washington. Wow. So big up Fortis and big up Bad Boy Nudge. They are the new selector them for 2021 <laughs> and the new ownership management where I carry the sound into the, into the next Right, you know right. atmosphere but back then so as me get little older i'ma start go over my father grandmother grandma pain now at them mm -hmm. time them i see my uncle freddie dren them same setup but them have the big sound emperor in mm -hmm. my grandmother's basement and all of my cousin them a dj over the sound system and mm -hmm. that's what i learned say oh there's an artistry there's 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 a a, a fraternity of songs mm -hmm. and that's when me start learn about the rest of sound, them safari eye power. Then down the line, you have um, earthquake and a couple mm -hmm. other songs. But then my father know him have a record shop. Him, him was a record shop owner named Music Box. And Music Box was one of the biggest East Coast distributors of 45, 12 inch. And oh, wow. Wow. So big up my father, Ziga. Yeah, so, man, big up Ziga. Anyway, you heard of that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So my father. So as my, as my start go out in the record store, I'm used to go stick up my father at least every two weeks I'm going out of the shop and just take up every album. Anything we new, we just take it up and walk out with it. But me and him son, him just him just said, I hear that. So we used to collect music like like action figure, like Lego. So we yeah. have everybody album, everybody 12 inch and everything. So we just yeah. start learning and look what is a publishing, what is a writer, what is a, who, who arranged, who produced the music and start realize that uh, it's different different elements how music get made and from this on it just it just turned into a passion and right right all said so done right so so all right so i mean because we kind of came up along the same lines because i like i said our our story is parallel in a lot of ways and you know it's just ironic that we both had the opportunity to work with Jim Beans later on in our careers. But, you know, I started from the sound system culture as well. Me used to play a sound, a fairly named Seven Star. You know what yeah, I say? And, um, you know, then they ended up um, branching off and going to LA and, you know, Vice and Wallipa Dubs. But the first set of them, and me and Daddy Biggs, did end up like, do them dub there. You know what I mean? So, and then early on, you know, I started, I started out as a singer. Him will tell you, like, as him is a, one of the man that were instrumental in my career. Uh, we used to do the whole notch thing, like my voice did, <laughs> like, 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 like did up top. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. And then, I read, then after that, we start smoke and my voice get raspy and it just kind of start evolving to like a sing G style that I still embrace to this day. You know what I'm saying? Um, beans brought out like certain other elements of, of my vice car. Like you said, he's an all around producer. A lot of people like m drop the catch and they think producer is just somebody who go on a computer and lick rhythm. But a producer is somebody who produces right. from start to finish, That's like finish. the complete package that's going to be pushed out to the world. Right. So, you know, I know with me, after singing, you know, me basically, you know, kind of, I mean, after selecting, once I discovered my voice, me used to like just, you know, DJ and sing for the version them. And then eventually, you know, somebody caught wind of what I was doing and was like, yo, you sound good. Won't you go record? So mm -hmm. at what point did you discover this big vice where you have and decide to say, yo, all right, yeah, 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 you started out as the spring man. <laughs> 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 you 
do, do. And you left from this or no. Mm. And you say, all right, then you have a vice now where you can utilize and become one of these artists who you're playing. Right. So as we say, as as growing up around the sound now, when we start getting our pre-teens now, me and my cousin them, big up Dookie Rankin, big up Philip Five. Philip Five run Cartel Sound out of Atlanta. Mm. Um and uh, Marlon Brando, a couple of my other cousins. We now start car every Friday, wrong on my grandmother, grandma, Pena, and Emperor. Them, you know, upon a Friday night is a case of Guinness. Them time the Moeta beat and man them are weed a weed a bun and vibes and sound I play and man I grab microphone and a DJ. So every every Friday night over my grandmother yard was like a dance hall, like a <laughs> like a stone love dance a key. And everybody, and it was an alleyway that come. It's called Delafield. My grandmother used to live northwest Delafield. And anybody were living at DC, and I said, them don't know about Delafield back in the 80s and 90s. Them, ne them never going at the right part of DC. Them come at yeah, DC. Man, they, 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 must the they must have been there district county. They could have never been right. there district of Columbia. So this is in the heart of Washington, the heart of Babylon. Right. Yeah, so, me, me start go up on the mic, my cousin them, my uncle would have given me the microphone, we start doing things. So when Emperor did change out like them amps and them speakers, we used to go check my uncle and say, yo, give it a PV amp there, get some speaker. And we put on a sound together in my yard. And me and my cousin them said, we as a sound system now, we used to call ourselves Brokey Hi-Fi. Because <laughs> all of the parts then we used to just take broken parts, put the sound together, and I feel we sound that. And we used to make cassette. Just like how we hear stereograph make cassette. So from me and my cousin them, I mess around with sound system thing and I DJ and I got on my uncle. We start have this affinity for just making up lyrics, creating songs, and and doing them over any type of me love studio one rhythms. To me, studio one of the most melodic and so in a reggae music. Second, second to Treasure Isle, but Studio yeah. One have some of my favorite rhythm them. So you should just DJ over them and make cassettes. Um, right. But it's really my love for hip hop will make me want to get into the music business. Cause what happened when we were about 14 or 15, because I used to listen to Fat Boys. Rest in peace, Prince Marky D. Him just drop yeah, out. man, him just drop out, man. You, you, you Yo, know, Fat Boys are one of the group them where raised me. When you say raised me, <laughs> them re me, me used to know all of the Fat Boys, them lyrics, yeah. them image, everything. I just me, I mean, it, me listen to every fat boy album we ever released. Brother, Even brother, one brother, that brother, never brother, sell. Brother, 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 brother. Well, I know. I'm going to bring you back. Because I look like me and you know, I see him age bracket. I'm yeah. Like when you're not giving out your age, I'm not, not, not face up my <laughs> them neither. Yeah, but I'm going to say, Can you feel it? <laughs> <laughs> Can Classic. you feel it? One thing, man. <laughs> brother, 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 the first time me hear that, mm -hmm. the first time me see Crush Groove. Yeah, man. The first time me see this orderly. The first time me have a Fat Boys album. Mm -hmm. Me general. So I know exactly. Like that, that, that feeling that come over you. Yeah, man. But the same feeling will come over me. And that's why I say it's just so crazy that I grew up admiring your work because, you know, me, 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 me have some accolades, you know. I may read some levers in life, but, you know, you guys were actually, you did it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was a fan. You know, even at the time when I was trying to find my way as an artist, you know, me, me, me do great things in my city. Me get the opportunity to do things outside of my city, but you guys were people who... I would emulate and, and respect and honor, you know what I mean, for, for, for the effort that you put forth. And it just warms my heart to know that our struggle and, 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 and our come up in the game was along the same road. So that lets me know and reassures me that what I was doing was not wrong. Right. You know, because right. we tried the same road you and see. the same inspirations. So you said the fat boys know was something that inspired you. Right. But obviously you were born within the culture. So, you know, bring us back to that moment you now with, with so, the whole West thing. So hear this now. Hear, hear how the blending of the thing dropping. Because growing up amongst Jamaicans, my uncle was a Rasta man. So 
even when my uncle used to drop me at school, the kids them used to look upon my uncle and say, yo, your uncle got all them snakes in his hair. What kind of hairstyle is that? <laughs> you you off the banana boat. I, you used to get enough fights on all them things that because it wasn't cool to be from anywhere else but be right. a black American. Right. You know, black American people are the most bossiest. I want to them, them, not create, them not create too much, but them have the most boss for everything. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I I'm told a black you. American, so we can't criticize them. So, <laughs> yeah. But what ended up happening is one year, my grandmother, because she used to go on a bus trip with our church, and she used to go like English town, go shopping. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even know if English town still exists, but they used yeah. to have like a swap meet in a New Jersey. Car. No, but they still have English town, yeah. 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 So yeah. one year, my grandmother carried me go to English town, and we all walk around, she all buy our, our clothes and our items, and we see a record shop in an English town. So, them time, yeah, this was before me start going to my father's record shop, I know about cassette and all these things. Mm -hmm. Them time they are just 12 inch 45. The cassette them will come my yard and me hear hip hop on the radio a little bit. Mm -hmm. But they them used to have a hip hop show. DJ Franksky used to have a hip hop show in Baltimore. And that's how me used to hear more of my hip hop. Now, when me take the trip to English Town now, me see the cassette them and me see Public Enemy and me see KRS One Criminal Minded. When me see the two cassette, me say, yo, me know them artists here because me used to listen to them on the on the radio show on Saturday. So I beg my grandmother, I think each cassette was about $9 at that time. So I beg my grandmother $20. She gave me, I'm gonna buy KRS one criminal minded. I'm gonna buy um Yo Bum Rush the Show by Public Enemy. Um, them two, them two cassettes, them run them in the ground till them pop on bus and I have to replace them. But when me hear KRS one with the da 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 Listen to me. Mr. Mr. Hip Hop people can do reggae too. What? Yo, from the day me hear that. Yeah. Mr. Yo, me I incorporate my culture when I grow up with and the culture when I born in. It's always gonna be a part of my. So me I go present. So what I said, stick up in. You were you were a visionary. Yeah. You were a visionary. Because if you notice, that's what's happening right now. Yeah. All right, go Everybody on. Everybody, I do it now. All right, go on, talk. So when we listen to when we listen to KRS One, then we start realize that uh, you have Asha D, Daddy Freddy, and me, me did know because it it stick up in it did in my psyche said uh, people that I mix hip hop and reggae become we used to hear shined Panjaro cassette and different cassette. One we used of my favorite rap pan sound system, but me never know who him is. Or anything, and even back in the day, you used to hear the the, the yard artists them emulate Sugar Hill. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast. Me like hot butter upon a breakfast man. toast, but me not eat I that. I'm a selfish me thing. So me used to hear the, the, the DJ them a mess around with yeah. the Yankee rapping, but nobody never yeah. represented on a level where yo, this is a this is a different sound you can use for make your thing mm -hmm. unique. That never drop in till later on. When we come out mm -hmm. and then the KRS one usher team, then Heavy D come in and start mix it a little bit more. And then you have a couple it's Ragamuffin Love, where it was kind of like a hybrid of dance yeah. But you make it, yeah. So predating the nineties when you had the influx of artists, them what we did a blended thing. There was like a, a, a incubation stage where you had certain artists with it out mess around with it but nobody never really take it up on them head the only person we say we incorporated officially upon them project was like asha d and daddy freddy and shine mm -hmm. and then you had couple rappers where them people them really are jamaican but them present themselves as a yankee because that's more marketable to the record label every day really jamaican artists. every day yeah, yeah. chub mm -hmm. rock yeah, well, exactly. Only for exactly. them. Uh, Jamaica. Exactly. People not even know the little young youth will just drop out your pop smoke. Im 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 right. Imagine America. Yeah, Imagine America. Yeah. 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 So the thing, the thing, Bush, well, I'll, 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 I'll Bushwick Bill. I'll Bushwick Bill. Bushwick Bill. Bill. Yeah. Yo, when we, when we meet Bushwick Bill in our Houston, we do a show back in the day. Man, come up to me, and I'm expecting Bushwick to say, Yo, yeah, sound like a Texas. The man <laughs> say, What happened, star? Yo, me like your music, you know, Bridget. Definitely. I said, yo, you Jamaican, yo? Say, yeah, man. I was like, that's, that's why he is a madman, because you're Jamaican. 
<laughs> yeah, man. But Bushwick Bill cool, man. Bushwick Bill cool. Yeah. But yeah, man. So from that, rest in peace to Bushwick Big. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. We all lose all our heroes. Them we were growing yeah, with, with inspiring. That's true, man. That's true, man. It hurt me feel. It made me feel like me. I get old, and it hurt my feelings. And yeah, that's true, brother. Man. I true, brother. I true, I true. I just life for the evolution. We, 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 we here for a season and then we're gone. But it's just exactly. the legacy that we live. But but we but live but, but 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 what happens before mm. and at the end is irrelevant opposed to what you do during your life. Right. And you guys, once again, you are not whether on a good or whether on a good or you know what I mean how we're we gonna get to that but may I say you guys made a mark because like I said I can remember you can remember yeah, yeah. boom shack attack we what? can we can remember you know what I mean and and, and, and it was like initially comedy war always asked a question I'm glad me have you upon the platform yeah, man. so so I know I I I, I you know, come and do my research, and I know that you met Notch at your father's record store. Right, correct. And um, so when you guys embarked on this journey to you like you know collaborate and do one or the other together, um, the selection. Come remember, you know, Ronnie Twitch did have the wicked is time and when the rain start fall. Right. So. It worked in the Jamaican market. Mm. It was, and them say once I eat, always I eat. Right. But when, when you and not, you know, farm alliance and decide say, oh, I got embarked upon this journey. Um, mm. was that your first collaboration together, or you know, was that something that the label picked, or you know, what was the whole motivation behind that? So this are the thing. And this is this is folklore for the people who care about the, the, the genesis and the beginning of Bon American. Bon American was never none of none of the music them we were make, none of the albums we put put out, none of the concept them we used to come with was generated by anyone in a record company or by any type of corporate entity. People think that we were some put together hybrid group that somebody made and get get the media training and get the marketing and all them things there but we was really an organic we was just really two yankee youth we grow up amongst jamaicans and learn the culture and know the culture not even learn it we know the culture because it embedded in our dna and we use that to our advantage as well as use the black american side as well as notch was latin he didn't express his latin side within Bonge Americans, but he went on to do Latin music as well. But these oh, are the wow. things we were raised around. So when it came to the music, boom shaka talk, or when we even when we started first working together, you know, I may hear not your voice, me say, yo, you have a wicked voice. And may I hear combination more life from, you know, flower gun combination, ninja man combination, shabarankin combination. Sorry, go ahead. No, I said Coco T. Coco T. I'm hoping it's me she love. Sorry, Coco O T. She love. I'm going to know, said, always them two neck. When you have a singer and a DJ, 99% of the time the two neck I go connect. People shot. love them, love the beauty and the beast, the sweet and the sour. <laughs> and it is just a formula will work. So right. knowing that, <laughs> me the know my position was to be the rough neck aggressive, abrasive, the dark skin, you to the group where notches the, the more appealing to the to the mm. other side of the kind. You know, even though it never really played up at that time, but mm. that was the draw, was the contrast of the two vices. And we developed that before we even think about our record deal. Wow. He just know him a wicked singer. So right. him do him do the sweet part, me come in with the rough part. And boom shock attack was actually on the demo that fell into the hands of the label so it was one of the wow. tools that actually got us our, our situation wow. so wow 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 so genius so what, minds coming together making something so did you ever did you ever come across like ronnie twaits or did it did it ever you know did did was there any like publishing issues with come that or, you know you know when you take up a jamaican 
person something or somebody from the ghetto or humble beginnings and them see it come on a foreign platform where it look big and them feel like millions are making. You know, so them other come for you. And we knew this. <laughs> but here, yeah, stick up there. Let me, 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 me show you how met on that whole thing on a business level thing. Cause me tell this story upon a couple other podcasts, but I always like to reiterate it to people because Vibe Magazine, Rob Kenna, Boom Shots, who I have yet to ever speak to, put it out upon them a Vibes magazine, say we teeth. Run it to it, son. Wow. Run off with it. Wow. Wow. We, we are with, like, I'm kind of put out the narrative, say, uh, we are just something a label I try to put together for try to capitalize upon ghetto reggae music from Jamaica. And we're not give credit to the artist, them. But stick up in. Run it to it. Uh, do it get this time when the rain start fall. The girls, them start for ball. Do you know what? Do you know that that's a melody interploitation of another song? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I didn't know that, but I'm almost like majority. Like I said, just going back to what you said initially. Yeah, yeah, going it's back to Forever you... Young by Brian Adams, which was originally done by Wayne Wonder. Wow, forever Still, he plays every time. Wow, na, 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 na. forever. Wow. I, I never made a connection. For... I never so made that, that so, so Wayne Wonder flipped Brian Adams. Ronnie Twig flipped Rain Wonder. Other people have flipped that melody. We came along and flipped it again. Where we how we drop in, forget the criticism was we use we 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 did a melody interploitation and changed the lyrics of Ronnie Twig's song, which we tried to clear with the producers of Mr. Luxury. So within the label, there was there was negotiations and things talking. But we are with people that were under the business, and I guess it never get finalized when Boom Shop a car. When we get the deal, the label say, yo, reggae, the only representation of reggae selling on a major platform is Shaba Rankin, who was signed to Epic Sony Music. So we'll give you a single deal. If you sell 50,000 or 100,000 singles, we'll, we'll exercise the option for the album. When we did Boom Shock Attack, I had the concept already. I had the reggae music around the world for respect that. And I had my verses done. So we are trying to find oh not have a drop in pound with me have no. So him did a demo a couple things and it just coming out in mind, yo, the, the the Mr. Luxury melody fits perfect with it. And we know, we didn't know, we didn't say it in the studio. So yo, if we flip this theme thing, we have to go get it clear. Whoever produced Mr. Luxury, since we are since we are use theme flip of a next flip of a next flip, mm -hmm. I really Brian Adams fear cost we the whole away. Yeah, <laughs> but, man. That, man. <laughs> but that, at the end of the day, it end up get clear up. Me, me ear say him eat out, him get a food off I come my ear say not go back. I must give him my food and deal with the publishing part. Of it. But that part you never survives. Magazine come back and. and I say, yo, if they clear up and them never really take the song from Rally Tweet. Them have it in other album. Cause even Louise Bennett, rest her soul, mm -hmm. she buck way up in a them time there. And she said, yo, on the teeth, my artist sang that of soul, you know, when I've been never singing and I'm making music again and this big excitement. And I'm like, yo, who is this lady? Yo, I don't know this lady from nowhere. Come to find out that Louise Bennett and she's a made woman in Jamaica and what she says is lost to certain people. Right, so right. We, right. we could imagine the roadblocks and the things that were put up because of the stigma of us taking a song that we really didn't take. Exactly. So, but exactly. such is life. It was an experience. I'm learning our music. So when you use people things, I better you just fly down if I'm there in Jamaica and go find them and at the garrison. I have your peoples them with it. I don't know, just circle it right this on. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And, 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 and if you notice, you're going to get results that we're there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? So, That's how the story of Boom Shaka Talk. Right. So, you know, all right. So, outside of, you know, your, because I mean, the, 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 the success, anybody who knows about the 90s knows about Banj Americans. Mm -hmm. I don't want to focus on that because right now, we don't have Banj Americans here. We have Edley Shine here. Absolutely. You know and, um, you know, more focus on your immense talent, your big voice, <clears throat> um, and the reason why you were brought to our platform. And, and, and once again, like I said, I want to commend you for being here because, you know, your 
we 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 had King Yellow about three months ago, which is another. And 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 I'm glad that we got the opportunity to to give him his flowers while you king, while king and out of business, king and yeah. king and out of and one one king, one king, one king. So before we make that transition, can we you know we need to adjust the world Jim Beans issue, you know. So right. may I skip past it, but you know through the time and you know and the world thing, mm -hmm. more talk about that big vice yeah. Select the drop my bad tune there. More you tell you about that song. Yeah. All right. Right, I know we are moving on a whole different mission. I know we like some of more ambition. Tell them, Mr. Big Monty. Mad. We used to shell down the bar and middle of the pu 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 Because me got address something real quick before him drop out that song there. Mm. At one particular time in your life, you were not a big man. You were kind of lanky and tall. Right. <laughs> no, you're a big. <laughs> I, I like to I, I like to call it my pre rice and peas era. <laughs> <laughs> Drop back that song there, big one thing, brand new, endless shines. Right, I know we are moving on a whole different mission. I know life, so I'm more ambition. Tell them so <laughs> we used to shell down the bar and be the life for the party. But now I gotta live for my shorty. Tell them it's a big man thing. We used to get enough girl and have them all in a bundle. Get my wife, no may have to live humble. Tell them it's a big man thing. Me know we thought we may link it up and understand. The link is just a change of plan. On another journey, God have me right hand. He might give me just a better foundation. For them a play at the house. Don't have no spouse late at night. Them they home and them all alone. Computer and cell phone I put them to sleep. When a lifelong guitar we will need. Right I know we are moving on a whole different mission. I know life so I'm more ambition. Tell him it's a big magic. Hey! Pull up a Sunday. Big man thing. Big thing. Tell him it's a big man thing. I don't tell him like a maga man thing. Big man. Right, I know we are moving on a whole different mission. A new life, so I'm more ambition. Tell him it's a big man thing. Hey! Brand new early chains. Yep. Tell them it's a big man thing. We used to get no girl and have them all in a bundle. Get no wife, no man, I feel him humble. Tell them it's a big man thing. We know we thought we may link it up and understand. Change of plan on another journey. God damn me right hand. He might give me just a better foundation. And them a play at the house. Don't have no spouse late at night. Them they home and them all alone. Computer and cell phone I put them to sleep. When a lifelong guitar we will need. Right, I know we are moving on a whole different mission. A new life, so I'm more ambition. Tell him it's a big man. All right, stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. All right, my general. Can we know I skip out history, you know? Mm. But like me said, true, like me said, we did start out for a late and we have a next artist for come on and Ray. So, yeah. you know, but at the, at the same time, we need for it. I don't know. How, it's, your, it's your world. You're the guest. So, however you want to approach it, we can't talk about this now. And we can't talk about, you know, the car, car, like me say. We talk about Bon Americans. Right. And then when you're embarked on your solo career now, like right. after, make we talk about, give me a, um, a condensed version of what transpired after you disembarked from the, the band Americans now and you're embarked on your journey now as a solo artist. All right, may I, may I truncate it for time and purposes, but basically... Born Americans disbanded in 1998. From that so we get released from the record label, which is Delicious Vinyl. Delicious Vinyl Island, no. Um, from that so, um, 
me get a call from a big brother, Mad Lion, and to this day, the two I will move like brother. Mad Lion said, yo, come out to LA. I have a situation with Warner Brothers. I need you because me know say he's a bad songwriter and you have the concept them and you, you understand the American side as well as the reggae and the dance hall side of things. So my, my, my moonlight as a writer with Mad Lion and that's how I meet Jim Beans when we did a live out LA. And me and Jim Beans was actually roommates living out wow. in LA. Yeah, wow. for, for at least at least a, a good six months to a year we, we was roommates wow. in LA. Wow. Wow. And that's how I start right and we are produced and we are work with Lion and one one weekend Lion leave, it must have it must have been our show or something or appearance. And me and Jim Brains locking at the studio and knock out ten different songs, which end up when Lion hear it. And at the time KRS one used to come back and forth from the studio car, he move out to LA. And he hear the sonar material and let me say, yo, and let me never know say I saw you, I saw you can't write. I didn't know. And KRS I see me from back in the day till now. So and Couple of the man them with their own the studio say, yo, you know, say them tune your bad headly, you need to do something with them. So the plan was when Lion drop theme thing for Warner Brothers, them I go them I go finesse the situation and get a budget for me for put out my album. But what ended up happening, Warner Brothers end up dissolved them whole black music department. So our Lion album did did release kind of limited, but it never really get the big push where this supposed to get. And of course, my 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 project with Jim Beans just kind of fall to the wayside. This is before iTunes and the internet pop off crazy and everything where you can't really do it yourself now. Right. So, so I did have to end up coming back to DC car, you know, things start getting now, budget cut, nothing now really going, sure them really are dry up car. Me was like one of the supporting acts with Lion I go out, but I saw me get to discover a place like Brazil and Medellin, Colombia, and I said, what, well, them I play with music down here? Yeah? I know music come in like old school or like foundational hip hop and dance hall to these audio cause me never know. Record label now tell me what I'm going in at the rest of the world. Them just I tell me, say, yo, we sold this amount of units and we still in the red and we owe them money. Me, right. Mind shop, me get to realize, say, yo, we're bigger than the record company now. But we find out that after the fact, after all these years have passed, and me and Notch, no really deal or talk from the disbandment days up to about 20 years afterwards. Wow, so, wow. So we meet up and we kind of talk and reasoning and holy for talking and everything. And then we end up the couple reunion shows. But in the middle of all of that, me always did a plan for build my studio, build my facility. I say, yo, I don't want nobody else control my destiny as far as music. I went. The reason why me don't really put out song on a rapid pace every week or every two weeks or anything like that, come creating music to me is like making a child. Like, me really take the time to sit back, find a concept, visualize the concept, execute the concept. Me put the marketing together in other mind. If a video for shoot, for, for my solo project, them Babylon Breeze, Factory Skin and all these videos, you say, I me go buy my camera and go down to Jamaica find a youth for hold the camera for me and we figure out and shoot my video them you know because the man them want to stick me up down a yard for whole heap of thousands well, of dollars well, 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 well i'm gonna do something really quick yeah. because i i'm very I'm well on i'm getting a car right now yeah man hello hello well on 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 hello jim Yo, what's up? Jim, Jim Beans, eh? Jim Beans, Jim Beans, how are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I apologize for putting you on the spot. You're my brother, so I can do this. If you're mad with me, I don't give a damn. Probably tomorrow we can talk about it. When when you see me, you can punch me in my face. But I have you live on my platform right now. Oh, wow, wow. What's up? What's up? The reason why I have you live on my platform right now because I have the pleasure of interviewing somebody that dropped your name and speaks very highly of you. So I just wanted to have the opportunity. You, you, you know, Beans, you're my brother. You know, I'm spontaneous. I'm crazy. Right now, I have Edley Shine on the live with... <laughs> <laughs> Jim Beasley! <laughs> I'm here, yo. I'm here living life, man. Living life to the fullest. Yo. 
Long time no hear from, man. I know, man. I, last thing I heard of you, you was in Miami living on the side of a cliff somewhere in a big mansion with glass and marble. <laughs> That's the last I heard about you. Yo, yo, Jim, I didn't mean to disturb you, man. I just, you know, it, it, you, know you know me, man. I'm a spiritual dude. Um, and, 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 and this, this whole thing is coming full circle. Um, I didn't even make the connection when the booking agent booked, um, Edley, but when I was doing my research to conduct this, yeah, man, him say respect, Edley, man. Respect. And, and, and the respect is mutual right around the board because Edley was somebody that I grew up watching me and you and Edley have worked together in close proximity and his sentiments are the same as mine when it comes to you. You are. A lot of people don't even know who we have on the line right now. I'm not even going to go into all of that. You know what I mean? Because at some point, he's going to grace my platform. So I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. But this is, just, this is just a personal connection. For all of you who need to know who's on the line, just Google Jim Beans. And, you and it's not the liquor. It's the producer. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> You'd be surprised to know who we have on the line right now. So, you know, I just wanted, um, Edley, I just wanted to do that for you because I know that the love Good is... Good to hear from you, Jim. Much respect. We're going to link up. <laughs> yeah, man. So, Jim, man, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. If you're going to cuss me tomorrow, you, uh -huh. you can just text me and be like, yo, Fik, I'm going to cuss you out and I probably won't come there. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, we love you, man, and, um, you know, big up yourself, you know, we're in the middle of Edley's interview right now, but I just felt like this was something, the spirit moved me to do this, and you know that we're all spiritual, God-fearing people, so I had to just go with what my inner voice was telling me to do. Amen, amen, God bless, everybody take care. Yeah, right. bless up, Jim. All right, bless up, General, bless up, Jim Beans, all right. Yeah, man. Sorry about that, Edley, man. But that's something. Oh, it's good to hear from him, man. I'm just, I am happy. I am so happy for his success and happy where he is. And I just hope right. he's blessed and right. living extreme best life. Because, like I said, we live together, so I know his his backstory. Right, why? Right. Why for the buck? Right. I know his past, and I know <laughs> what happened in the future. Why for the buck? Why popcorn? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah. I have to wire myself. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, my just, 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 just to answer your question and kind of truncate the thing. After I'm gonna buy my camera, them and me link up with Flair. I say, yo, I, got, I have six songs. I met a producer, Rose Summers. He used to produce for Down Sound in Jamaica. He has his own production um, company now in Jamaica, but a lot of dancehall artists know about Rose Summers. They know about his pen. They know about his production and everything. But I one of them humble you that he from Irish Hill, Irish Hill Records. He don't really like the the load up limelight interview artist thing. And prefer just putting music out there and let it be discovered by whoever discover it. But am I one of the most talented yard producers I ever met that have a world ear? You know, him not just mm -hmm. make. The regular boogie of a dancer, he he's made it. I watch the man produce for Cartel, I watch the man produce for Ding Dong, I watch the man produce for Massacre, and all these dancer artists then turn around and make a country record or an EDM record or a Baila right. Funk Brazilian record. Like right. he's that right. talented. So right. he produced the, the bulk. He produced Babylon Breeze and a lot of the songs. And then Ro introduced me to Rhythm Boss. Rhythm Boss is our next talented producer. He gave me the rhythm for, for Big Man Thing and Park Up. And Rhythm Boss produced Scotch Earth. That's that's probably one of the popular songs for Cartel Scotch Earth. Mm -hmm. So Rhythm it was it was it was an honor because me being in America, I mean I really dip on the ground in Jamaica. It's hard to keep that connection with the producer of them. Plus, me as an artist, me of the hype. My song them are adult contemporary dance big people dance music. So mm -hmm. like the tune Big Man thing, we can send it to all of the so-called influencers in, in Jamaica. The at the man them on the radio and everything, but them not gonna really take to, take to it. Cause mm -hmm. me not talk about chop chop this and chop chop that and gal yeah. back a gal throat and all these things. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what the current dancehall trend is, and that's what gets you. 
the immediate attention. Or you can be creative, like my brethren, like 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 one of my close Lincoln and Bada General. He's mm -hmm. taking the game and just being overall. He's so creative to the point that it's bad. So the yeah, yeah, play it. Yeah, so yeah, he man. fought he fought the way for bypass the hardcore biasness of dance hall and make them pay attention and do something creative that can be played everywhere. So and you know, and you know the craziest part, Edley, if you notice, it all comes right back down mm -hmm. to the foundation. Right. I mean, it's a foundation. But right. but everybody that you mentioned from Shined mm -hmm. to you to 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 Bada General to mm -hmm. myself. Our, 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 and then Father, you are uh, rest in peace. It right. all started from the sound system. Culture, right? It all started from the sound system. When you uh, are make it sang, you know, the right. man that was a DJ over version and a toast, you know, King right. and the whole of them man there in a dog. Right. You know what I say? And it becomes something that ultimately evolved into hip hop. Right. You know, when cool Eric and the whole of the... Yo, I can't wait for chat to shine it in a brother. Yo, yeah. yeah. Yo, just lock off three hours. You're going to need the entire... You're going to book nobody else with shine it, you know. Uh, it's a history lesson you're going to get. Oh, listen, man, 40 um, years, brother. It's like the Bible from Genesis to the apocalypse you're going to get with shine. Shine, shine, shine. Big up, big bro. Big yeah, up, man, shine, shine. Big bro. Big bro. Right, because, you know, he, he's one of the people that, that influenced us as well as you, right? And I don't even think that Shined gets the credit that he's supposed to get within the business because let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. Like, just my experience. Imagine now, because remember, you know, music is a thing where put you in a wherever. All right, you can't hear a song and it puts you in that moment. Right. So just like how you, when we talked and you elaborated on, yo, my daddy record store and me remember this it puts you in that time frame right. when we talk about how me and you related like to the fat boys and all of that so imagine now right. 15 years old i get this cassette i see this brother in this red silk shirt with mm -hmm. the black stripes and the dark glasses and the wavy ear shot right and I'm like, why the hell do they call him Shined? He's not bald or anything. You know, by the time me, me done, you know, I listen to the, 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 the um, Shabba Ranks and, you know, the, the, the Admiral Bailey and them and them. But I'm like, who, who the hell is the Shined guy? Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know why, but, you know, like when you play a cassette and it's not like a CD where you can skip. You have to fast forward and get to the point. Yeah. So when I press play, 15 years old. My uncle weed store. God rest my, 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 my uncle soul, father Pluggy. Uncle right. Sucky. And I'm a father weed store. 15 years. I mean, I'm a uncle weed store. 15 years old. I press play. No of it chat or better. No of it chat. No, no. Like better. No of it. And I'm like, Bumbo Clot. Yo. And I, I live from growing up listening to Shine It on cassette. To standing on stage in Japan with Shine in front of 85,000 Japanese people. Exactly. And watching this man exactly. walk on walk exactly. on stage and stand up in the middle of the stage and the crowd go crazy. And the man said, Don't drink coffee, I drink roots, my dear. And the whole crowd, the whole 85,000 Japanese people that speak no English sings back to Shine It. Exactly. And I love my morning. Yo, brother. I'm brother, like, yo, brother, music is so powerful, yo. Brother, I seen China, then you know, sir. Come and see a man try it with the I know. I don't want to call him name because mm. I don't mean, I mean, I alienate no artists and more everybody on the platform. So I don't mean, I right. call him name, but I'm pretty sure that most recently there was an artist who tried to do a mash pit vibes, a Jamaican artist. Mm -hmm. And just laughing at the crowd. The seat and the it... crowd walk past him. <laughs> you don't earn that type of respect, them I mean, I mean, And a I mean, wicked artist still. I would have earned them type of respect. And, 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 and 20 years, almost 25, 30 years ago, I seen China do the same thing. A Jamaica, reggae sun splash. With Jamaica people, you know, said them the pet in our pole and not up. And the man took off in the crowd and, and him crowd surf from the front to the back. 
Respect is earned, not given, especially in music. Yeah, yeah man. Especially in music. Yeah, man. You have to earn them. So at the time when you're singing, at the time when you're singing, whoo! She told me her name was Billie Jean, and that's ripping up the dance hall. You're also being played on MTV raps. Don't give me that, don't give me that, don't give me that. Oh. No, crack, crack. And that let me know that I could do this shit too. Yeah. Just like what you said. Yeah. So you guys were my inspiration. And even at the age of, I'm not going to call me ears, but 30 years <laughs> after embarking on yeah. my career, right. this platform still gives me the, the, the opportunity to interact with people like you guys and, mm -hmm. and, and also let me know that it's not over until it's over. For real, I me I me learn that. I me me if you look that up in the dictionary, me I wanted to post that boy. Cause you have to remember, I was in a group. Right. And God has his favorites with everything. Exactly. So when people look at a group, they look at the components of the group and they pick which side they're on with the group. Exactly. And that goes from the fans to the corporate side to everything. Exactly. And one side, one side was ushered on to move on to keep on doing what they're doing. One side was left to the wayside. But look, look who's standing in front of you right now. Exactly. exactly. And I say that, and I don't say that to to throw any shade to anyone or discredit that my next brethren in other group. But I'm just saying that I love music so much, and music is so much of a passion. Even now as a married man and as a father and everything, me do me take care of my family, me do my nine to five so I can make my money. And then I walk in out of the studio and still spark that creativity inside myself to be able to even have music, have videos, have marketing and to present to them. Me don't need for do this. Cause it not it because music doesn't even yield the same reward that it did back in the past. Only for a few. Out of yep. the hundred percent. 99.9 percent .9 of the people in the music business will fail yeah man. that's a scientific a fact a true man a true man a so true. even the fact that we're going on music and even get the, the, the six years glory me get out of bond americans come back 20 years later and and put my own music out and just do go through the paces of what i know professionally to present my music and people respond to it if i 10 people if a hundred if a million that is an accomplishment because right now is an open land thing. Yeah, album, how much music you get in your inbox with your platform every sure, day? Man. I really talk, man. I really talk, man. I really talk, man. You really could have easily push delete and yeah, say, yo, we just too much music. I can't listen to this. Yeah, but the talk. fact that I get anybody attention right now, if a man send me, I say, yo, may I listen to Babylon Breeze from my way to work? Mm -hmm. Wicked tune. That is my reward. That is my royalty and my publishing right yeah, now. Great talk, man. Great yeah. talk, man. I just said that. Yeah, and, 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 and I learned long ago that a lot of times you embark on a journey. Remember, you know, we as pioneers, we, we don't, we, 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 we never know. Like, we come out, we set out with a certain, like, Jack Hero said, even though it's like unconditional love. So yeah. our unconditional love for music Remember, you know, we started a journey to do one thing and ended up doing something altogether different. And that's what being a pioneer is about. And you, my brethren, if nobody never tell you before, you are not true. You know, because when we're embarked on this journey collectively, right. you guys are pioneers, brother. Yeah, yeah. On a set thing, brother. On a set thing. Respect. You know, man, respect. Yeah, man, and, 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 and respect because, like, when you really. Outside of Tanto Metro and Devante, there's never really been another duo. Mm -hmm. And you guys went against the grain because you were born in America and you still took reggae and put it on another notch, right. figuratively speaking. Right. You know what I say? So, you know, brother, it was a pleasure. I'm sorry about the, 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 the tardiness, but we've right. covered a lot of ground. You got Come the on. opportunity to talk to Jim Beans. The yeah, thing man, that was great. And, and we'll definitely be talking off the air. But one more thing I need you to do. Yeah. Yeah. Like where you come from the sound system culture, you need to give overall settings a live dub play right now so we can chop it and put it in our mix. All right. Now I'll give you one of the sound system classic them. Show me some red light, yellow light, green light, go.
Our all set is at the star feeding show. Red light, yellow light, green light, go. Man. Open the microphone so all the massive all are blow. Easy pan the dub, cause Edley shine is relaxed. You can't get the message, then we send it pan a fox. Watch pan the dub, oh my cool and relax. You see the overall setting, sound boy just stop. What a reward, my love. Edley, promise to dumb himself to general. Respect. Oh, yeah. Big up the whole crew in the studio, man. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Yeah. Everybody put on your mask, keep using your hand sanitizer, go get the vaccine, and just stay safe and stay healthy. And hopefully, we see you somewhere at a venue sometime soon. Bless yeah, man, you. Man, yeah, we have a, a, um, a, um, a truck we want to send Kongi. Yeah, we, we'll send you one with him. Work, we are work. I'm a chicken, we are jerk. Just ah, that's why we're BG. Bless you, right. endless shine. Mud move. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only of the big five. World premiere. My check one three. Right, you know I'm really in my bag. Really miss. Right, you know I'm really in my bag. Me just a fling on the clock, such concrete. Out a road food of it cruising past bad mind and it's us. We could have never get we down. We just live up a good vibes where we need. See them all from my wide 